Hello my darlings, it's Dion Dean. Welcome back to another episode of Thriftmas. So today we are not going to be in the stores. Today we're actually going to be in my wardrobe to discuss my thrifted and consignment or consigned Givenchy Antigona. Okay, so when we were in Philadelphia, <laughs> Philly, y'all have a hold on my heart. This has never happened to me. Um, and so God was with me. My dad was with me. The thrifting gods were with me. I actually happened upon two Givenchy Antigona bags. For those of you who are new to this channel, well, first of all, welcome. So glad to have you here. Um, I am a luxury girl at heart, but I do not like to pay full price. I love to travel. I love to eat good. I love to fly good, but spending money on shoes and bags and all that. No, 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 no. We're, we're never paying full price for that. Okay. So that being said, um, so the Givenchy Antigona, if you're new to this channel, the Givenchy Antigona is probably my number one slash number two favorite handbag, luxury handbag. Um, it comes in close with my Prada Sofiane tote um tote bags and then probably right there at number three is as far as um this isn't necessarily luxury but i consider it luxury because they're just such beautiful bags but my brandon blackwood quay bags of which i have three and this one is my favorite bag Whew, in my closet i this, i have an, the large size and the, um not the mini i think the medium i think this is the jumbo and then i have the mini anyway that being said um I love the Givenchy Antigona. It is my one of my favorite bags. And so I am like an Antigona connoisseur. So it was no surprise to me, although I did find two of them in Philly, that um, I keep on finding these bags or attracting these bags. And so a small, just a small little note, until the end of Thriftmas, until Christmas Day, I'm actually putting my How to Thrift Designer bags and shoes. I'm putting that on sale. I have an e-course. It's about 30 to 45 minutes long. And that e-course will be on sale until Thriftmas. So as I'm going through this video, if you're someone that wants to learn how to thrift luxury, because that is my jam, I will put that in the description box below. And so it's on sale until Christmas. After Christmas, please do not reach out to me. Tell my girl, can I get that course? The course is available and it's on sale for you guys because I know you guys love luxury the way that I love luxury. Anyway, so my intent on showing you um, my bags is so that you get an understanding of what these bags look like so that when you go thrifting, maybe you will happen upon these bags. I think a lot of us are not thrifting luxury because we don't know what bags are luxury and what they look like, what we should be looking for. So I'm going to give you as much detail as I can on the four bags that I have to you know yeah, two are from the real real and two are thrifted. I actually, and I did not show you this bag, I actually consigned one that I thrifted um, down here because it just wasn't my vibe. And so I did have five, but I actually sent one to the real real. As well as, I know this is getting into like three minutes and I haven't talked about these bags, but if you notice, I actually um, sent four of my Alexander Wang Rocco bags to the real real. Um, they just held memories for me and time frames. And every time I looked at them, they did not bring me joy anymore. And so I kept two. I kept the two that I wear the most, but the green one, I sent that back because I just remember um, when daddy passed, I, I was carrying that bag. And so every time I see it, it just took me back to that day. And I just, I was like, let it bless somebody else's life. And so um, another bag that I have duplicates of are the Balenciaga City bag. And we need to have a conversation about what's going on with Balenciaga and Gucci. That's coming up very soon. Anyway, the first Givenchy Antigona, four minutes in, the first Givenchy Antigona purse that I was blessed to purchase was this Givenchy Python Antigona that I got at the Real Real. I will leave a link um, up here. Um, I got this, I want to say it was, you guys hold me accountable, it was 500 and something dollars. Five, yes, 500. Um, so again, for those of you that are new to this channel, I am an avid thrifter and reseller. I'm a fashion professor as well, not practicing because I'm not in the classroom this semester. Um, but anytime I would thrift something of high value or luxury, I would just go ahead and send it to the real world. So I had a bit of a kitty there um, and that went to pay for my luxury purchases. So this was 500 and something dollars. And so if you're in the stores and you're looking for the bag, one of the reasons why I love this bag, number one, I love the shape. It holds so much. And I actually have, should I be showing you the interior? 
<laughs> I actually have a um, divider in here and I'll leave a link, um, an Amazon link to the dividers that I use. It's okay. Listen, this is real life people. Okay. So this is what I have in this bag. So I have tissues, I have masks, I have my trusty hand sanitizer, um, but I have sunglasses in here. I have lotion. Yeah. I have like a ton of masks in here for when I take mommy to the doctor, but I have this divider in here. And even with that, there's still a lot more space, but I can put a lot of stuff in here and so for me you know i'm i enjoy trends i enjoy watching people enjoy trends i enjoy watching unboxings and and fashion week and art basil i enjoy watching those things um this is sorry maverick's on the bed so I make sure he's not eating something he's not supposed to eat um so i enjoy watching those things but i have to be realistic about my life and what my life looks like day to day and the things that I do on a day to day basis. Again, again, I have like a bunch of masks and sanitizer for when I'm taking mommy to the doctor, right? And so um, with a seven year old, with an octogenarian and with my husband, I need something that is huge. So what do we look for with the, with the um, Antigona? One of the things that you will notice is the pull tab is actually padded on the front. Do you guys see that? Almost looks like there's a pill in there, right? So it's padded on the front, flat, on the back so that's one thing to look for right Mavi let's not have a problem the way he's looking at me guys yes sit down or else you're gonna be put out I'm keeping that in real life people okay so padded in the front flat in the back the um, the um, link the uh, the strap so if you notice the strap on the Antigona it actually is like a 360 strap. So it turns all the way around. Okay, you see that? It turns all the way around. Also, on the strap on the Antigona, Maverick, behave. Also on the strap, you will see that it has kind of like this triangle thing going on on the strap, okay? So that's another thing to look for. So that's just on the strap. Then in the front, we have, um, and again, I am not a handbag. I don't know what you want to call them, but I'm not going to call these right. I'm not going to, I'm not going to name these right. So we have this right here. And then we have the second, um, attachment, I, I guess we're going to call it. We have that there. So a lot of times with the foe, they'll just have this top one, but you'll notice that it has that one. And then it has a second one. This of course is the main, um, the main part that we look for in the Givenchy Antigona and that's the raised um, kind of portion right there in the front. So right off the bat, just by looking at that and the pull tab and this versus this, we kind of get Givenchy Antigona. And then another um, marker is that they don't have the, um, the feet. They just have these kind of these flat uh, panels of leather. So that's one. Okay, so let's move on to the second one, make sure this doesn't fall, hold on. <laughs> okay, so we're moving into the second one. This is my most <laughs> worn bag. I think this bag and my Brandon um, Black Blackwood bags are probably the two most worn bags in my wardrobe, as well as my um, my Gucci Ghost that I got at um, the Gucci outlet. So I wore this bag a lot to the point that it had some ink transfer, but I think I wore it so much that even the ink transfer rubbed off. So it, the ink was on there and then I wore it so much that the ink rubbed off. I wear this bag a lot. I think we have some of the ink transfer there. So I got this. Did I get this at the real world? No, I got this. I got this at the real world. I was going to say fashion file, but I got it um, on fashion file. No, I got it at the real world. Sorry. Got it at the real world. So again, so that is the large and I want to say this is called the medium and there's also a mini. So the large one I typically wear when I'm traveling or if we're going like to Naples or something from the, for the day and I need to carry snacks and sanitizer and masks and all that kind of stuff. I usually take the large one, but for a day to day. And if you follow me on Instagram, I am Dion Dean, then you've seen this bag in numerous posts <laughs> because I always have her. And so again, we have the raised front flat back. You see that raised front flat back. We have, the Givenchy here, we have this on the outside, then we have this one, um, the turn of the, the 360 turn, and then we have that, right? And then also, if you look on the side, which you couldn't see, well, you can kind of see, I just didn't show it. On the side, 
you kind of have this like the end of a ribbon. I don't know what it's called, guys. Don't judge me, okay? You kind of have this. She's trying to misbehave. You kind of have this on the side. So kind of if it went together, we're kind of close together. Um, I'm not doing a really great <laughs> description, but I know what I know. I know what to look for, right? Um, so we have that there. And then we have the two feet on the bottom. This one does not have feet. I'm, again, I'm going to show you the inside. This should tell you that I'm really mom life. Look at all this. Look at all these coins. I have my Femme City pin. Oh, God. I have my Fem City pin when we're at the, I'm on the, I'm, I'm on the Miami board of Fem City. And so when we have our meetings, I wear a pin. I have our pin in here. Y'all, I have makeup brushes just in case, just in case I'm in these streets. I have, again, this is mom life. Okay. I have masks, mom life, caretaker, ma caretaker life. Um, yeah, I have a lot of stuff in here. You see that? I don't have a divider in here, but I'm actually going to get one for in here because as you can see, it's kind of just like jumbled up, but I wear, I have, again, I have another mask. I have a clicker. For those of you that don't know, I take my own photos. Make sure this doesn't, does it work? Yep, still works. All right. Um, just in case I'm out in these streets and I need to take a picture. So, um, yeah, this is the other bag. So again, 360. We have that there. We have that. We have that on the side. Another note that I want to show you, and I, I was trying to show you in here. That's why I want to show you the inside. The inside. So you're going to get this little label, but then on the, on the back side, it has the serial number. Do you see that? So that's another thing to look for. The inside is always, well, for me, at least, I haven't seen where it's not cloth, but it's going to have a cloth interior. Versus some of the faux that I've seen in these streets have like a satiny, like nylon type of thing going on. And, and that's not it. So that's bag number, number two. <laughs> Let's get to number three. <laughs> okay, so my new baby. So this is the one that I got from um, second, I always want to call it second Avenue. But second Avenue was the thrift store in Jersey that we went to. So I got this one at Second Street Consignment in Philly, which I am feeling Second Street. I, I love the one in New York that Jesse and I went to, Jesse from Cappuccinos and Consignment. Definitely please go show her some love on Instagram and everywhere else. That's my boo. Um, but we went to one in um, New York and then, does he want to go outside? To hear his little feet, that's him. Um, we went to one in New York and I love that store. And when I saw that they had one in Philly, I was like, oh, I gotta go. And so I will leave a link to that video um, up here somewhere. Anyway, um, so when I saw this bag, again, the color is what got me because Maverick, are you gonna behave? He just wants to be by me. Well, you're not protecting me from anybody. I'm like in the room, the door is closed. What are we doing? Nobody's here. Okay, let's pray that he doesn't knock over anything. So when I saw this, when I saw this, <laughs> I'm watching him, he wants to eat the stand so bad. When I saw this in the store, the first thing that I saw was this gray. And so this gray is very, I want to say it's very specific to the Givenchy Antigona. I have not seen this gray. I want to say it's called a dove gray um, for many other brands, but it is a luxury gray. Okay. So when I saw it, I pulled it down because I love this gray. And this was actually a bag that was on my wish list, which is why I'm like totally in awe. Maverick, if you eat my shoes, it's going to be a situation. Yeah, you. All right, sorry. So, again, what do we see on the side? We see the little thingamajiggy. Is it Chevron? I want to say it's a Chevron. Maybe it's not Chevron. But, again, we have the 360. We have that there. We have the two. Okay. We have the two feet on the bottom. And I actually put a, um, a divider in here. It's a little smaller than I wanted it to be, but I want to say any bigger and it wouldn't have, I don't think it would have been, it maybe would have fit, but it would have made the bag more misshapen. And so I'm actually going to be sending this to um, Hadrian for him to fix up the knickknacks. But I put a shaper in here from Amazon. Again, I will, um, what's in here? I will um, leave a link to the shapers that I use, but 
here's the interior tab and there we have the um the serial number so um i got this for 109 dollars which i'm still just like <laughs> And I was actually thinking of just wearing it for right now and then sending it to Hadrian after the holidays because I know that he's having a whole bunch. I'm going to leave a link to his channel if you're not following him. Like, you're totally missing out on some really great handbags. But I know that he's, you know, getting ready for the holidays with his family and he has a bunch of sales coming up. And so I didn't want to muddy up the waters and be like, hey, fix this bag. So um, I asked him if I could send it like a little later on just to give him, give him some grace. But so there's that. And then last but not least, this one really got me this one I was like okay god <laughs> two within like what was it like three days I'm gonna leave a link to that video up here as well um this Antigona I want to say that this is an earlier model I remember seeing this in black not the blue and black um but again let's look at the side this one is needs a lot of help she needs a lot of help and so uh yeah we're gonna see about sending this to him this one has and it this actually has the Givenchy now the Antigone I want to say came out in 2011 so I want to say that this is an earlier one because I have never seen let me look on this back I oh it does have it it does have the G, the Givenchy on the side I don't know if you can tell right there it has the Givenchy Maverick stop making noise um, it has that 360, it has that, it has the feet. Um, so this one, now this one needs a more work. And so I think, I was going to take it to Hadrian, but I think I may actually just take this to um, a shoemaker, a cobbler, um, because this is coming off. So I don't want to like belabor Hadrian with that as well. But um, yeah, this is another one. So again, I just wanted to... Um, this one now this is the thing hmm. I want to see some older ones because this was the only thing that threw me off I was like hmm but I think this is probably like a 2011 version because I've seen this one but I've only seen it on in all black so we'll see but anyway um I just wanted to show you my collection with the expectation that you will learn um more about the Antigona and in case you find it in these streets, but also to encourage you to go to the stores and look at bags. You guys, if you follow me on Instagram, I am Dion Dean. I mean, I've actually done some videos, you know, on here. Maverick. <laughs> I've also done some videos here where I take you to various stores, but go to the stores. And maybe if you want me to go to the stores and record it, you know, leave a comment section, leave a comment down there. Um, maybe I just take you with me and I kind of show you bag for bag, but also I have the course and the course, I actually take you through various bags and show you what to look for. Um, when you're looking for a high quality bag, not just luxury, because there are some really great high quality, quality bags that are not Dior, that are not Fendi, not Vuitton, not Givenchy, you know, not Saint Laurent, but they're really great bags. Like this bag here, like this, um, Dunian bag, Dunian Burke bag. I mean, it is one of the, and that's why I was so glad when I got it. Oh my God. The, it is, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I'm coughing with excitement. Such a great bag. Hold on. He's walking again. Here he goes. <laughs> it's such a great bag. This is not a luxury bag, but this is definitely like, oh my God, it's such a good bag. Like, I can't wait to rock this like oh my god I just want this back. and it's a Dooney and Burke and it's thrifted so um again I just wanted to educate you guys you guys know that I'm an educator a fashion professor and so my tool my my aim with my videos is to educate you to make you more educated shoppers so um the course again if you want to learn how to thrift like me if you want to thrift luxury like me I'm going to leave the course the information down in the description box and um yeah that's it I will be back with another video very very soon and i thank you guys for supporting thriftmas and uh we need to decide what we're going to be doing in january because i'm kind of loving these videos they're um they're a little they're a little fun for me so we'll see how we go forward in january all right love you guys so much see you soon Mwah. bye